Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. I'm here with us today. We have a short clip by God's choice servant, Apostle John Suleiman, which I believe is going to be a blessing to your life. So kindly watch today. We love the work than the owner of the work. And that is why things are we are struggling. I, I have I am too at rest. We were thrown out of a place of worship, and we are worshiping under the tree. I was preaching under the tree. I did service under the tree. And the people say, what do we do? How do we talk to the man who owns the hall? I said, I'm not talking to anybody. I have the money to pay. I pay them. They say somebody else has paid. So let's be under the tree. At least they allowed us to stay here. Under the tree. One of the times it rained. And you know when the real rain has stopped falling, the tree rain is still falling. When the real rain has stopped, the tree rain. Rain had stopped. The tree was still raining. But we are there. I, you see, when God knows you are at rest, he will fight. It's not a concept. Be still, comma, and know. Be still, and know. I make a declaration upon you by the power of the Holy Spirit. This is in of your life. This is in of your destiny. You will not take a step ahead of God. You will not take a step ahead of God. You will not take a step ahead of God. Take your seat. I'm still talking of Aaron and all. They climbed the mountain with Moses. Can I say this to you? And I want everybody hearing the sound of my voice to listen to this. It will help you. It will help you. Aaron and Hall climbed the mountain. Dream for you. But when you enter there, measure me. When you climb that level, Remember me. When doors are open, you see why you must maintain connection. Can I beg you? Stop saying people have changed towards you. Be matured enough to manage transition. When season change in the life of people you once knew, understand their season has changed. Manage the change. Manage seasons change. When seasons change, reasoning changes. Connection changes. There are people that don't talk to you anymore because they don't reason like you because season has changed. Understand the change. It's not pride. Their season has changed. Be smart enough to know their season has changed and accommodate the transition. God has lifted the ministry of somebody you knew. He's now blessed. This is happening. And you come around, you see, you come around him you want to remind him of how both of you went to Bible school. Sir, season has changed. You want to remind him of how you used to support him. No, let him be the one to remind you of that. I'm telling you why you meet great men and you lose contact and you are praying that there are no helpers. God has brought many helpers, but you are not smart enough to understand the language of helpers. Helpers that will help you in destiny. When level changes and seasons change, be smart enough. You see a great man. Stop reminding him you went to school together. Honor his new level. Let him remind you that you went to school together. You are saying, sir, what does that say? Uh, uh, you are doing this one. Stand up. That is how to assess great men. Not ah. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, you call him his traditional name. Oh boy, we're in school now. You used to copy from me. And four bodyguards bundled you. And you get angry. People are not smart, so they lose help. A man, he raised up many sons. And somehow, he had issue, went out of ministry. One of his sons began to pay his bills. Blessing him. The son invited him to preach. And 
somebody was on the pulpit, he would call the son by name. Like your general overseer, when he used to be very stubborn, the man was cringing on the pulpit. I asked the man, the son, why don't you invite him anymore? He said, ask him why. Ask him why. He has to invalidate me to endorse his superiority. Sir, there are people that enter my office for the first time. I see them bring out for can I take a picture? It irritates me. First time you are meeting me, you want to take it irritates me. Why? He wants to post it. To endorse himself. Once a person does that, I just tell them, you see this person? Should not enter this office. I have met great men. No? I have met great men. No picture. I have met great men. As I'm walking, they say, Apostle, are you going? Can we take a picture? They request. I stop. I have never. Because it is not my connection to them that endorses me. It's my work. My work. When you need to post pictures to endorse yourself, it means you are nothing. They bring our phone. So, sorry, sir. Can I take a picture? I said, we met today. You want to take a picture today? It's so bad. So we say, sir, be laying hands on me while they are taking the picture. Be laying hands. So it's like we are acting drama. I am acting. The cameraman is acting. The one kneeling down is acting. And he will lift up his hands and I'll put it on the head. And they'll post it. Say when I then he posts it, say when I was ordained to ministry. I say, so you want me to lay hands on you? He say, yes. And you'll take a picture. I say, yes. I say, I'm not laying hands on you. Can we pray? Can you put up that camera? People are looking for human validation. It is God that endorses man. This is my beloved son.